fact, even at university, you're suffering, aren't you? Every time you have to read those medical books and re remember those Latin names. And we realize that through embracing this struggle, the word which means in Arabic, by the way, jihad, jihad means in Arabic to struggle to the utmost of your capacity. It could be an internal thing within yourself, struggling against your desires. Or it could be external, struggling with the evils of the world around you. But if you embrace that struggle, right, then you will truly experience the ultimate form of happiness and contentment and satisfaction. This is what elevates you as a human being. Fourthly, and this is amazing, if you can put these pieces of the jigsaw, to, jigsaw puzzle together, right? People may be thinking, okay, well, God has created this world, and in this world is suffering, and there are disasters, and there are so many things that happen, right? And I can understand why that's important for us as human beings to benefit in this way and that, right? But why does, why does God let people suffer, and so on and so forth? Well, actually, the Qur'an tells us, and I just want to read the translation, unfortunately. Okay, it's okay, I've got it here. Um, I just want to read the translation of some verses of the Qur'an in uh, Surah Al-Rum, okay, which is the 30th Surah, uh, and, and verse 41. Okay, it is God who created you and provided for you, who will cause you to die and then give you life again. Which of your partners can do any of these things? Glory be to God and exalted be he above the partners they attribute to him. Corruption has flourished on land and sea as a result of people's actions. And he will make them taste the consequence of some of their own actions so they may turn back. Say, travel through the land and see how those before you met their end, most of them were people who set up partners with God. So even in corruption has appeared on the, la on the face of the land and sea because of what we have done. Evil is a product of our own hands. It's because of the evil actions of human beings. We don't attribute therefore evil to God. Life is a test. But we have created that scenario for ourselves through our own evil actions. When I say created, I mean we have brought about that <coughs> through our evil actions. So we suffer also similarly because of our actions. But we should, the reason again is so that we will repent, that we will turn back, that we will reform ourselves, that we will change ourselves, that we will try to improve ourselves. So this is another important factor. And finally, the last thing, and this connects with my first perspective that I wanted to make. When God created the paradise and the hellfire, He said to the angel Gabriel, O oh Gabriel, go and look at my paradise and tell me what you think. So Gabriel came back, he said, O oh Allah, Anyone who comes to hear of this place, they will definitely enter into it. And then God surrounded the paradise with difficulties and hardships and tests and trials. And then he said to the angel Gabriel, now go and look at my paradise and tell me what you think. And he said, I am afraid that nobody will enter it. And he created the hellfire. He said, oh Gabriel, look at my hellfire. Tell me what you think. He said, anyone who comes to hear of this place, they will never go there. Then he surrounded that hellfire with luxury and ease and comfort. And then he said, now Gabriel, go and tell me what you think. And he came back and he said, I'm afraid nobody will escape it. This is the reality. The path to paradise, the destination is a beautiful one. But the way there is a path of sacrifice, of commitment, of difficulties and hardships. But the ultimate end is worth it all.
Similarly, the hellfire is surrounded by comfort, luxury. But its ultimate destination is a horrific one. Finally, one connected uh, thing I want to mention. It's extraordinary that the Prophet mentioned that the paradise and the hellfire argued with each other. They argued with each other. And this, by the way, may seem strange, but is to illustrate the perfect justice of God. The, the paradise and the hellfire argued. The hellfire said, in me are the arrogant, the rich, and the proud. And the paradise said, in me are the poor, and the displaced, and the weak, and the humble. So God intervened between this argument. He said to the hellfire, you are my roof, and you will be filled. And he said to the paradise, you are my mercy, and you will be filled. The reality is, brothers and sisters, that we are either fuel for the fire, or we are the people of paradise. It is from God's justice that He created hellfire and He will fit it. He will, there will be people who will go there. He has created people for that hellfire. It is like a living being that wants to consume and God in His justice will feed it. And God has created paradise. And He will put people in the paradise. But the people who go to hell, they go there because they chose to do that. They chose to live their life. They chose to disobey God. They chose to take that path that will lead them there. God did not force them. They chose it. And the people of paradise, well, in reality, we would say that nobody deserves paradise. There is nothing we can do really to deserve paradise. People go to paradise from the grace of God, from His grace and mercy. But there are things that a person does, a way that a person behaves, and actions a person does in one's life, and that is something that God loves from a human being. And due to that love for them and their actions and their beliefs, that He will enter them in His mercy to the paradise. This is in reality what is the purpose of life. This is why we are here. This is why there is suffering. And this is according to the teachings of the Qur'an is why the world is and the next world is the way that God has created it according to what he is explained. May God forgive me for my deficiencies in explaining this to you and for anything that I may have left out. And may God guide all of us closer to the truth. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May God's peace and blessings be with all of you. Let them arise out of you a group of people Enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong On the Tao Show On the Tao Show On the Tao Show On the Tao Show